Hello to everybody. Welcome to our extra normal presentation on the sociology of poverty and health. This short video will include a short recap of the different explanations offered in last week's session on illness. We will also consider the different areas that you will be looking at in your group presentations. Do not worry though, this will not take long and you will have plenty of time to arrange yourselves into groups and begin your research in today's lesson. But before that, I must just have a word with Stuart about this ridiculous outfit he has dressed me in. Seriously Stu what are you playing at? I am growing a moustache for Movember. It looks good doesn't it? Stu, you are an idiot. I was talking about my outfit. Not your failure to have a have a shave, as usual. Let's just get on with it shall we? We can talk later about your vast array of problems inside that tiny little mind of yours. I have issues. Ha, look at you. Shut up. The first of our explanations is that of social constructionism. This is a topic that we discussed in the previous unit and will be a constant topic throughout the course. Please remind our students how this relates to the understanding of health inequalities. This approach argues that statistics are invalid. It highlights the difficulties with defining key concepts such as health and illness. These are socially constructed terms, and therefore very difficult to pin down objectively. It also adopts a labeling perspective, which challenges the validity of the statistics by arguing that disease labels are applied differentially to different groups, either class, gender or ethnic. Thus, doctors are believed to apply specific disease labels more readily to some groups than others. The second theory we will offer is the natural and social selection explanation. Again, Stuart please explain. This approach argues that health differences are the result of genetic, biological and physiological differences between groups, particularly gender and ethnicity. Therefore women statistically live longer because of their genetic makeup, and some groups are more prone to certain diseases, such as sickle cell anemia affecting mainly people of Afro-Caribbean descent. This next explanation is known as the materialist slash structuralist. Health inequalities of different groups are explained by focusing on their different location in the social structure and the different material circumstances which result from this. For example, poor housing in working class areas will have a direct impact on health. The last category is that of cultural slash behavioral. Please explain this Stuart. Group differences in health are attributed to members allegedly different norms, values, knowledge and behaviors. For example, relatively high rates of coronary heart disease amongst some Asians are blamed on the use of traditional cooking fats. That recaps the explanations of ill health for now. But how are you going to use these in your presentation? Well you have been given a flowchart that explains the process that you will work through both in a group and individually when presenting on your given topic. The first thing to do is get yourself into groups of either three or four. You will then be given a topic by the tutor. With this topic you will be given some suggestions as to what kind of areas you could consider. You do not have to use these suggestions, but they will give you a good idea of the type of subjects you will need to look. On the Moodle sociology site you find a series of links that may help you gather more information about your focus area. You are not required to place too much emphasis on gathering huge amounts of data or quotes, but a wider understanding of the topic would be advisable. You will all present within your groups and must contribute individually in order to meet the criteria. As a group you will provide a very brief overview of the area given to you. You will then take it in turns to discuss one part of this area, explaining the problem, linking it to a particular explanation as discussed previously, and finally suggesting a possible solution to the issue. Finally as a group, you must provide your audience with a brief overview of your investigations in the form of a handout. This all sounds like great fun. I wish I was there to see their happy little faces. Seriously Stu, I think it is time for your medication. Yes, nurse. Now then. Stop right there. You are sick you are. Please go away and leave these guys to get on with their work. Okay, sorry about that. But just before we go, what do you think about the music choice this time? It is much better isn't it? Well considering your love of Shania Twain, it is an improvement. Why did you choose this then? Well blood. I is getting on down with the kids in it. You gets me? Sham on.
Laters. Please, somebody press the off button. Oh my god.